I was listening to the radio this morning and somebody was talking about trees having feelings and that if, say, a pine tree is cut down and it's next to, say, an ash tree, the other tree will suffer. Well, it reminded me of a film I made 30 years ago, uh, well, in 1989 to be precise, which I aimed at young children in an interactive CD-ROM and it expresses my thoughts about trees then. Well, I've always regarded trees as my friends, and much of the furniture I've designed and made over the decades has been from either reclaimed timbers or fallen trees, such as this coffee table made from a cedar of Lebanon tree from the estate of Robertson's Jam. Now, the tree in the film I'm going to show now uh, is one given to me from the great storm of 1987 and grown at Kew Gardens. Uh, I made various items of furniture from it. So this film is the third and last in my series of My Year of the Tree in 2018 and is an adaptation of uh, the first one. Now it does carry a warning. Uh, I heard that a 10 year old a boy watched uh, this film, uh, this is a few years ago, and it made him cry. So I would suggest that the film is suitable for young people over the age of 10 and please share this film you know obviously if you're an older person watching and encourage a, a youngster just to sit down and be patient and digest it it's only uh, eight minutes long well what else is there to say uh, the music is created by me using a synthesizer of the time and the narration is by an actor so, please enjoy. Once upon a time, there was a tree, an ash tree, which lived in a wood in the south of England. It was very tall and very strong. It had lived there alongside its brothers and sisters for almost 200 years. This ash tree was given life by the wind that carried its seed. However, the same wind that gave it life also took away its life. For one day, a great storm blew up. The land was flattened. It was devastating. Nothing was spared. Even the ash tree, despite its great strength, fell victim to the storm's fury. Everything was quiet and still. A season passed. Men with 
with saws and bulldozers, came along and chopped up the trees. Some trees were taken away. There was a great burning time which followed the great storm. Ash was turned to ash. Fortunately, one tree was spared. A craftsman came into the wood and saw the ash tree. He knew he could give it new life. He took it to his workshop. The craftsman took great delight in wondering how he could give this ash tree new life. He set to work with his tools. day and night. He worked with care and patience. He sharpened his tools. As he worked the grain, he thought of the ash tree and its life in the wood, the sad fate of its brothers and sisters. was nearly finished. Tree lives on.